Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Nap Training here, bringing another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'd like to demonstrate how a new, brand new Excel function called ifs, with the S at the end, uh, allows you to do multiple select types of functionality. So for a long time now, we've had things like if and some ifs and some if, and uh, if nested together with and and all sorts of different things. But there was this common thing that happened in Excel spreadsheets where people would want to be able to have nested if functions. If one thing was true, do whatever it was. But if it wasn't true, then make another judgment call. And if that thing was true, then great. But if it wasn't, then make another judgment call. And it would be this obnoxious nested if, 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 if type of situation. So in Office 365, we now have the ifs function to be able to do that same thing. So notice over here, I've gone ahead and made a column representing the status of these different events. And as you can see, uh, we have different things like what our sales are in relation to our capacity, uh, what our cost per seat is, what our current revenue is versus what our costs are, etc. And what we have to ask ourselves is, is there a ranked question in our minds? So for example, right now it's the beginning of April. So let's say that everything up until June 1st is now basically locked down as far as what their sales are. So we might make a judgment call that says if the date is anywhere between now and June 1st, then go ahead and mark the status as locked. But then after June 1st, we then want to make a judgment call as to how well our sales are in relation to the capacity of that uh, location. If our sales are below, let's say, 60% right now, we want to say that our status is undersold. Um, and then if we aren't outside that 60% range, then maybe we'll ask the question, is the current revenue in excess of the total cost? And if it is, we'll say it's profitable. And if it's not, we'll say it's not profitable. So this is this sort of staggered question that I'm asking myself. I go over here to cell L5. And I can build up this really complex set of questions to myself through the ifs function. I go to the formulas tab at the top of the screen, go to the logical drop down menu, and as you can see, I have ifs right there. If you don't have ifs on yours, you'll wanna go get a subscription to Office 365. I'm just, I'm just telling you the way it is. These are, there are some really nice functions they've rolled out recently. Text join, for example, has made my life so much easier. So let's try out ifs. So under the logical drop down menu, we have ifs. And as you can see here, it says logical test one, value if true one. And so once we fill these in, then we'll get a second one and a third one and a fourth one and a fifth one. Uh, you can get like a, over a hundred logical tests in here. So pretty obnoxious. Okay, so our first logical test is simple question. Um, is our event date, let's say is our event date within the next 60 days? If it's within the next 60 days, then the event is basically locked. Okay, so the logical test will be if um, the value of cell A5, right over here, the event date is less than or equal to today, let's do it in all caps here, plus 60. There we go. So if 4-23-2018, that first event date, is less than or equal to today's date, whatever today's date is, plus 60 days, then the value that we're going to output is quotation marks locked. Let's do that, locked. Okay, next question. Okay, so let's say that it's not within the next 60 days. The next question I have for you is, um, let's say we're talking about 2020, right? So we could say if the year of this cell A5 
is greater than or equal to 2020. Okay. What we'll do there is we'll say, okay, if it's in 2020 or beyond, we'll just say it's um, future, right? And that's important because I don't really care about an event that is scheduled for the year 2020. And we definitely haven't sold tickets to anything in the year 2020 yet, so who cares about that? And notice what I'm doing here. I'm doing a logical test that if that's true then we're basically done. And we don't really care about those cells anymore. Um, if it's within the next 60 days, well, that thing is locked. There's nothing we can do about it. If it's farther out than the year 2020, that's too far in the future. We don't care about that. Now the question is, what about our revenue? All right, so let's say, is our current revenue greater than or equal to our current total cost is k5 greater than or equal to j5 and if it is let's say the value of true will be it's profitable nice all right so then we'll move down and if it's not profitable the question i will have is uh, let's say is the what's the what's the current percentage of sales versus capacity so at this point everything else is what I'm interested in notice there's not anywhere in here what if none of these things are true so what we do at the end of the multiple if function like this is we're going to nest in here the true statement true okay so logical test four is literally just going to be the word true because this is the last thing we're going to output. If it's not profitable and it's not too far in the future and if it's not locked, then I need to know how much we have sold so far. What's our current sales? So we'll take current sales and divide by, oops, we'll do H5 divided by g5 there it is okay so notice what we've got in here let's start at the top first test this is the one if it's in the next 60 days if a5 is less than or equal to today plus 60 then that event is locked there's nothing more we can do about it also if the uh, year is greater than or equal to the year 2020 that's too far in the future for us to even care about then the question is um, is K5 greater than or equal to J5? If it is, then our event is profitable, so we're feeling good about things. If it's not locked, if it's not too far in the future, and if it's not profitable, this last one, we're just going to say true. Just literally, if you get this far, then this last one is the one we're going to output, which is the percentage that, of this that we have sold. So I hit OK. There it is. First status locked. Yeah, that's within the next 60 days. I auto fill this down and notice what I've got here. And I can actually go up here and format this as a percentage so it looks even better. Okay, so locked, locked, profitable, profitable, profitable. Okay, here is an event that is not profitable yet. $309,000 in current revenue is less than our total cost. So we need to know where our current sales percentages are. This event is only at 56% capacity. We have a problem. Then we have a bunch of other events that are profitable. That's great. And then we have a bunch of events, as you can see here, scheduled for late 2019. It's not so far in the future we don't care about it, but also I can kind of see why it's not profitable yet. And so you can see here that we're only currently at 16 or 7 or 24% of our capacity. Then this last one, well, these are all in the future too far for me to care about. So as you can see here, if I have many different layers to my decision-making process, this new ifs function, which allows for many different tests and many different outputs, can be really helpful.